All right, sixth graders, this is to help you with question four on CR 10. It says, during a nine-day vacation, Millie rode her horse a total of 138 and three-fourths miles. Approximately how many miles did she ride per day? Okay, so if you know your total that you're riding and you're going on a nine-day trip, you take your total and divide by nine to figure out how far you go each day. You could always use a tape diagram to get a nice visual for this. So your total that you've rode is 138 and three fourths miles. Right, that's your total that you've rode. That's over nine days. So you're splitting it up into nine days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They should be even days, but what else? So you have nine days, and the question is, how much did you ride per one day? All right. So I'll take my 138 and three-fourths and divide that amount between nine days to figure out about how many per day. Now listen, in reality, I'd probably round this to 139 and divide by nine because it says approximately, but I don't know if your CR says approximately. So I'm gonna run through the entire process if it had if it says exactly on your CR and then we can talk about estimation-wise what we do. All right, so first of all, I could draw 138 whole circles and three-fourths of another circle and figure out how many fourths we have, but the reason your teachers teach you the standard algorithm to convert from a mixed number to an improper fraction is it would take me all day to draw out 138 circles and three-fourths of another just to figure out how many total fourths I have. So what they have you do is they have you do 138 times 4. So that would be in 138 whole circles, how many fourths do I have? 8 times 4 is 32, put down a 2, carry a 3. 4 times 3 is 12, and 3 more is 15, put down a 5, carry a 1. 4 times 1 is 4, and 1 more is 5. So there's 552 fourths in 138 circles. Then you take your 552 fourths, you add on three more fourths, and you come up with a total of 555 fourths. Oop, 555 fourths are in 138 whole circles and three fourths of another. And then we divide that by nine. And on another slide, I reviewed how you divide fractions. If you have a whole number, you put your whole number over one, then you keep change flip. You keep your first fraction, you change your division to multiplication, and you flip over your second fraction. And then you multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom. So that's 555 divided by 9 times 4 is 36. So now I'm going to take 555, and divide it by 36. Mine's an estimation. How many times is 36? Or the final answer is approximately, so we're going to be rounding our final answer. 36 goes into 55 once. 1 times 36 is 36. Far from that 5. That 5 becomes a 4. This becomes a 15. 15 minus 6 is 9. 4 minus 3 is 1. Drag down that 5. 36 goes into 195. Let's see. Um, well, 3 goes into 19 six times. So I'm going to try 6. 36 times 6. This is just how I estimate. I look at the first digit here, the first couple of digits here. How many times does that go in? Drives my guesstimation. 6 times 6 is 36. Put down a 6. Carry a 3. 6 times 3 is 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, well, that was way too high. So let's try 36 times 5. But that's how I estimate, and, and my answer here was above 195, so I'm like, all right, I got to back it up and multiply by one less. 6 times 5 is 30, put down a 0. 
carry a 3. 3 times 5 is 15, and 3 more is 18. Okay, so that's going to go in 5 times. 5 times 36 is 180. Subtract off, and we got 5. 9 minus 8 is 1. Okay, so that means 15. That means we have 15 whole circles and 15 36 of another circle. All right, so now we have to know, is this closer to 15 miles or 16 miles? <laughs> oh, my gosh. So I have to decide if 1536 is more or less than halfway in between. Well, I'm going to tell you 1836 is, um, so if we had 15 and 1836, divide top and bottom by 18, that would be 15 and 1 half. But I only have, so I'm trying to decide, am I closer to 16 or closer to 15? And right in between 16 and 15 is 15 and a half, right? So this would have to be 1836 to get me to 15 and 1 half. I only have 15 and 1536. That's how I know I'm closer to 15. Wowza. I'm going to give you a wowza on that one. I don't know if yours is like a needing to go to a whole number or not. I just want to quick show you right from the get-go what I could have done. I could have rounded 136, or I'm sorry, 138 and 3 fourths to 139. And I could have just divided that by 9. If, unless, if it says approximately, I would round from the beginning. I don't know what your actual CR says. So if I do 9 into 13, that goes once. 1 times 9 is 9. Subtract off. I got a 4. Drag down a 9. 9 goes into 49 five times. 5 times 9 is 45. I have a remainder of 4. Could do a little decimal point here if you'd rather. Drag down a zero. Nine goes into 44 times. Four times nine is 36. And here's the dealio. See how this is 15.4? That's less than five. That's how I would then immediately know to round down to 15. So if it says approximately, I would say estimate at the beginning, round at the beginning, and then divide out. If yours says exactly, then you got to follow this whole process. All right. Woo, that's a long video. Hope that helped.